Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for saving me, for loving me. You went to Calvary. There you died for me. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. I'm Andy Lumere, Black Evangelist. I'm here today in the town of Brixton. Come and save your people, heal the sick, cast out devils, open the eye of the blind, let the deaf hear, let the lame walk, and may the curse of God be on the parasite prostitute British women who bring their bastard children to disrupt my meeting. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Today we're going to be reading, get, get up, get up, back up, excuse, back up, you bastard. We're going to be reading um, from the gospel today about the end times, the end times. The book of St. Luke tells us, St. Luke chapter 17 from verse 24. Luke 17, 24 declares, As the lightning, the lighting out of the part under heaven, as the lightning are lighting out of the part under heaven, shineth unto the outer part under heaven, so shall also the Son of God, Jesus Christ, be in the day when he comes back. Well, we're talking about the return of Christ Jesus. The return of Christ. What will they be like when God, when Jesus returns? The Bible says, as the lightning flashes from one side of heaven onto the other side, so it will be in the last days when Jesus Christ comes back. But first, must he suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. Jesus Christ will suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. I was reading an apartheid newspaper, Mandela suffered 27 years in jail under the racist white government. And the, the driving license, the driving theory test for apartheid South Africa says, if a policeman impound a black man's car and threaten to take the black man to jail, there will be, question number one, seven years of bombing, a question number two, five years of bombing, or C, both A and B. In apartheid South Africa, if a white policeman impound the car, of a black man, you have to choose one of the answers. The first answer is A, there will be seven years of bombing in Cyprus.